Why did the Saxons call the language English? Let's find out. To answer that question, we have to go over many things, such as the influence of Northumbria, the state of Wessex, the Viking invasions, King Alfred of Wessex, the mercy and help, and we'll finish off with a conclusion and a last remark. Starting with the influence of Northumbria, that the Northumbrian kingdom had been established in the 7th century in the 600s. Due to this establishment, Northumbria's culture had flourished, thus native expressions of Abrahamic literature and art had emerged, uh, such as the uh, Hymn of Cadman. Among the Northumbrians, we have two important figures. We have Benedict Bishop, who visited Rome five times and founded the monastery of Wermuth. We also have Alcuin, who helped Charlemagne lay down foundations of learning in his kingdom. Alcuin is also associated with that famous letter where uh, written, it, it said something to the effect of that, what does uh, Christ have to do with Ingeld or Ingeld? depending on your pronunciation. At this point, it would be safe to say that Northumbria had enjoyed a very learned uh, reputation, given the two figures mentioned, and given that how uh, Abrahamic literature and art had emerged. It's important to bear in mind that Northumbria, uh, not only having this learned reputation, but it's also an Anglian kingdom, or if you will, an English kingdom, and their language, uh, lingu ang language is English or Anglish, if you will. So that's something to bear in mind. Wessex, the kingdom of the West Saxons, at this time was more known for its military pursuits than its literary and artistic culture. However, to be fair, Aldhelm of Wessex, who left his body in 709 AD, was among the few learned men in Wessex and translated Abrahamic literature and composed songs as a means to drive away songs from non-Abrahamic uh, religions, such as uh, Germanic or Celtic spirituality. So, for example, the the church, if you will, uh, wouldn't really approve of songs about like gods such as Woden uh, or Thunor or this or that, or, or what to save other deities, whether Roman or Celtic or Germanic, or about a hero, if you will. Rather, uh, so these songs were created as a means to focus people, make people focus on um, uh, on Abrahamism. And then the Viking invasions happened. Uh, Vikings from Scandinavia ravaged Northumbria in the 9th century. Uh, and as a result, learning and culture perished. However, in due time, Northumbria and most of Mercia, unfortunately, um, fell to the Vikings. Which leads us to King Alfred of Wessex, of the West Saxons. The fact that it is important to bear in mind that Alfred himself is a West Saxon. After having secured safety in his own kingdom, Alfred wanted to restore learning. He did so with mercy and help. As an effort to restore learning in the kingdom of the West Saxons, King Alfred had help from learned men from Mercia. These Mercian men at Alfred's court were called Werfrit, Plemund, Werwolf, and Avalstan. Uh, these names are mentioned in the uh, in Asser's uh, Life of Alfred, and uh, as we can see here, here underlined, and uh, the fact that not only their names are mentioned, but Mercy is mentioned, right? Right. So, which is very cool of itself. And then even Alfred mentions uh, Plemund in in his uh, uh, preface uh, to Pastoral Care. Um, so, I'm going to read the Old English and then followed by a tr the translation by Henry Sweet. Thor on gan ich on yamang o odrum mislichum and manifaldum bisium this thisis currerichis thar bork wendan on English the is yenemded on leden pastoralis and on English here the bork. Here the book. Huilum word be worde, huilum and it of a newte. Swaswa it here, um, ye leer nodde at Plemonde, minum archbishop, bishop, 
and at Assere, minum bishope, uh, and at Grimbolde, minum massa prioste, and at Johanne, minum uh, massa prioste. I began, among other various and manifold troubles of this kingdom, to translate into English the book which is called in Latin Pastoralis and in English Shepherd's Book, sometimes word by word and sometimes according to the sense, as I had learnt it from Plamond, my Archbishop, and Asser, my Bishop, and Grimbold, my Mass Priest, and John, my Mass Priest. So, from this we can gather that Plamond, uh, King Alfred's uh, Archbishop, you know, and, and Plamond here is, as mentioned earlier, is a Mercian. As for Asser, uh, he's a he's a Welshman. Uh, Grimbold is from uh, from Francia, or well, he's what well, well in in Asser he's mentioned he, he's like uh, pardon me Gallia, but like but at this time uh, Gallia is um, part of the uh, Frankish uh, Empire or that which descends from the Frankish Empire, like how the Frankish Empire got split up to like West Francia. Uh, Middle Francia and East Francia, what have you. So, yeah, and John uh, is actually um, a Saxon from Old Saxony. And uh, just to just to show you, um, so we have John here, uh, Johannum, as it says here, uh, that he's from Alt Saxon. Uh, pardon me, Alt Alt Saxonum, which is interesting of itself. So Old Saxony. Um, and as for Grim, um, Grimbald, um, he, or Grimbold, uh, he's from, uh, it says here, Gallium, um, at this time, um, uh, you know, Gallia, um, if you will, is, is, um, under Frankish control, if that makes sense. So, so yeah, um, but... It's interesting of itself that uh, Alfred had a lot of help uh, from these uh, four um, Mercian men, and by and Mercian and the term Mercian or Mercia is it's really like or the Mercian kingdom is really the border kingdom, if you will, and but like uh, uh, but even deeper than that, Mercia Mercia is an Anglian kingdom. It's an English king kingdom. So uh, by Angels. <laughs> So these men mentioned here are Angels, and their language is English, and um, so that's something to bear in mind. Of course, Alfred wanted to uh, have something to assert his power. He needs like the brightest of the bright, so to speak. Well, he, he got many. He got four Angles uh, here from Mercia, um, and a few from outside, or what have you. And even further, we learn from Rawa in her article regarding this. Uh, due to these evidences of mercy and help, suggests that Wessex was in, lack of a better term, learning competition to other kingdoms, if you will. Well, especially Mercia. Uh, and but Which goes to show that Wessex at this time was, um, I don't want to say intellectually inferior, but like as far as like the state of learning, was inferior to, uh, to Mercia. Which makes sense uh, that Alfred uh, would turn to Mercia. Uh, for, for help and whatnot. This is something to bear in mind that this is a West Saxon king using a language of another kingdom, English, you know, as a means to uplift his own people. We also have to bear in mind that, that Wessex was known for more for its uh, military pursuits rather than learning. Our conclusion that from Northumbria's uh, cultural reputation to Mercian's aid King Alfred of Wessex called his own language English as a means to get that English association and reputation to assert his dominance, right? Because thing is, you got to bear in mind, you know, he's a king and he's a product of his time and uh, kings of his time wanted to assert their their dominance and, and power, if you will. But my last remark is that, however, this does, whether uh, Alfred calls his la uh, language English or, or, or what have you, does not change the fact that Alfred's language is still Old West Saxon, or wet, or, or if you will, West Saxish. That's it for this video.
Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And if you really like the channel, please become a patron on my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.